Hi and welcome to this lesson where we are looking at Newton's third law of motion. And his third law of motion you would definitely have heard before in your life. That's simply that every action has an equal but opposite reaction. Okay. Now that may be um, misunderstood in some ways, but a very easy way to think about it. Have you ever seen someone walking into a glass door? Okay. And have you ever asked yourself the question, why is it that they always fall backwards? Okay. Well, it's simple. Every action has an equal but opposite reaction. When the person actually walks into that wall, he's exerting a force, or into that door, I mean. He's exerting a force on that door. But the door is also exerting a force on that person. Okay. Therefore, since his force is not strong enough to break the window, the force applied by the window is strong enough to throw him backwards. Okay. So that's also the same reason why when a ball is thrown to a wall, okay, so we have a ball thrown at a wall. Okay, and what do we know happens? Well, the ball strikes the wall, which means the ball is obviously exerting a force on the wall. But the ball bounces back, which means that the direction of the ball has been changed. His direction has been influenced. And we know that if something is influencing the direction, the motion, or the shape of an object, that influence is called a force. So the wall is also exerting a force on the ball. Okay? Now, the force of the ball is not enough to affect the wall itself. But the force applied by the wall is enough to affect the ball. Okay, now one very interesting example of this is oh, change the color there. Okay, if we consider Earth, we know that an object near the surface of the Earth, like this little purple man, is being that little purple man is being attracted by the Earth. Okay. But at the same time, we know for every action there's an equal but opposite reaction, which means that this little man is also attracting the earth with the same force but in the opposite direction. So your question might now be, then why doesn't the earth accelerate towards the person? Well, let's look at that. The earth does accelerate towards the person, but here's the formula that we calculate that acceleration with, sorry. Okay, acceleration is equal to the force that's exerted, in this case it's weight, okay, in the negative direction, weight, divided by mass, mass of what? Mass of the Earth, which is capital M. And that is such a large number that this thing is effectively being divided with almost 6 times 10 to the power of 24. I mean, that's such a large number that this weight force is rather small when it gets divided with all this, so small that it is almost equivalent to zero so that you don't see the earth accelerating towards the person. However, for the person, it's the opposite way around. For the person, it's the same force, which in this case is weight, divided by the mass of that person. And since the mass of that person compared to his weight, and on earth we know that this always approximates 9,8 meters per second squared. Okay, so I hope that makes sense to you. And in the next video, we look at a special force called tension that exists because of this law. Okay, see you in that video.